Here I'm in front of the University of Yangon. It used to be a very active university. But the Genta doesn't like the students to be concentrated in one place in the center. That is why they decided to send them far away from the city. I'm going to show you. Here I'm in front of the University of East Yangon, one of the universities created by the regime far away from the city. You have to come from Rangoon to here. Yeah. So it's about a long, long way to go to school. Yeah, yeah, long. Every day you go back to Rangoon. Yeah. There's about 10,000 students who come to study here every day and 50,000 who depend on this university for what they call e-learning. I've just met a student in front of the university who has agreed to take me to his place to talk about their famous Junta-style e-learning. On the condition that we don't film his face, we change his name, and the neighbors don't see our little camera. So, Jojo, you told me that uh, in your home here, uh, uh, you had uh, one of those cassettes of e-learning. Yes, of course, I have. So we don't need to go to university all the time. OK. We so learn from the cassettes. Yeah. If you don't understand, you cannot ask to. Uh, That's it, that's OK. It. So you don't have any help. Uh, you know, You're have, alone. Uh, and it's more, more difficult to learn. Okay. So thanks to Jojo, I was able to get a surprising look into a Burmese family's day-to-day -day life. Oh, by the way, when I arrived in your home here, yes. come here I saw uh, two big uh, items here. Yes. What is, what is that for? That is uh, the transformer. This is for used for uh, re regulate the electricity. Okay. And what, what about this one here? This is one for, uh, for battery use. Whenever electric no can, we can use these. So we can watch the TV all the time. Ah, okay, so that's very important to be able to watch TV. What, what do you watch on TV? What yes, sort? because here in Korea City is very popular, so using this, we can miss it. Okay, so maybe tonight yes. I can stay with you and watch the, the, the Korean show with you? But after TV, you have to go back to your... Oh. Ah, wh uh, why? Do I, I can't uh, stay uh, no, too late? You cannot sleep here because we, uh, if you sleep here, huh, we have to, to ask permission from our township committee. Yes. Is it because I'm a foreigner? No, 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 not, you are not a foreigner. Even my friend from uh, other township, if, if they want to stay my home, yeah. uh, we, uh, we need to do the uh, uh, same procedure oh. like that. Okay, well, well, you know what, we won't stay too late. <laughs> it's all so good for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now the state television is really something. The Burma that the junta depicts on its channels is really a make-believe country, with magnificent public buildings, sumptuous scenery. Everything is smooth and without blemish. It radiates harmony and national unity. As for their evening news, it's an endless stream of soothing statements, all devoted to the glory of the regime. It's the game shows that provide what are perhaps the only moments of escape. But they're kind of pathetic. I decided to make a break here at the Traders Hotel, which is the place to be if you're close to the gender. You can find here high-class prostitution, and also, of course, you can read this. First, it's filled with propaganda ads explaining how to behave, how to be a good, obedient, and disciplined citizen. The only articles with a little bit of content are almost all about public works or industrial machines, or about ribbon-cutting ceremonies at public buildings or bridges. 
that they love. You also find weird reports of official speeches given by the generals, reports that somehow manage to avoid talking about the content of the speech, all the while telling us that the audience really enjoyed it. As for the international news, it's a complete caricature. The newspaper copies articles from the internet without ever giving the source. And finally, when the newspaper mentions the US or the UK, it's always in a grotesque way. Like here, for example, with this story about a vulture invasion in Florida. And we don't really see anyone who would support this daily, especially not the Burmese. They use it to clean their windows. <laughs> Okay, we finally uh, found a uh, internet connection here in the hall of this hotel, and we're going to try and check our email for a start. The, the mail access has been denied. Maybe another one. Let's try maybe Hotmail. Access has been denied. Okay, let's try maybe uh, just for general information, like a uh, international AFP, AP, or Reuters, for example. Reuters, let's try that. Okay, access has been denied. Okay, well, it's not here that we'll manage to get a good connection on the internet or check our emails. We'll try somewhere else, maybe in Rangoon, with a bit of luck. Hello? Excuse me. Look, we're looking for uh, internet with email. Internet. Internet over there? Yes, yes. Yeah, the, yes. Build, the big building. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, can I use uh, Gmail? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because we try everywhere, it doesn't work. Here, here it works. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, now you must be quite patient. Like, very patient. Extremely patient. It seems you can actually access your Gmail account. The only problem is that it's not a secure connection and that the regime can actually read your emails. One last thing, once you're finished with internet, you have to give your address, your name, and your passport number. Welcome to Freedom Country. Here I'm in front of a field, a traditional field that you can see in the region. And you can see that part of it is dedicated to this small little tree behind me. That's called the Kietsu. And here you can actually see uh, the fruit that's supposed to be used in the production of the biodiesel. That's Kietsu. Yeah. Kietsu here. Kitsu. Yes, All that is Kitsu. Yes, he cannot product the biodiesel from the Chetsu because he has a no machine, no alcohol, no uh, protection, you know, no to instrument. I understand. Right is more better for people. Yeah. You know, the Chetsu is also forced by the government to must be plant the, this plantation. So the government, government by force. obliged by yeah, force yes. to do kiatsu. Yes, yes. yeah. Well, thank you very much and uh, good luck. OK, we're going to try and uh, go in here, but uh, I'm not quite sure about it. Ministry of Agriculture. I can't believe we're inside.
The craziest thing is that we've managed to convince them that we were professionals fascinated by biodiesel. We managed to come here and visit the process that you need to go through if you want to create biodiesel from Kietsu. You add that into this. So to sum up, the process is highly complex and very expensive. $9,000 for the conversion kit. A Burmese farmer just can't afford it. Locals even plant Kietsu in the center of the city. Kietsu. The regime believes it's a way to neutralize the opponent Aung San Suu Kyi because Suu Kyi and Kietsu are opposite. Kietsu, Suu Kyi, 